There's the United States team. And what about this young lady? She must be on a high after what happened last night. Tiana Bartoletta, the long jump champion, will give it to Alison Felix. Not such a bad person to be handing over to. Silver in the 400 to Gardner to Akinosin. No Tory Bowie as yet. Trinidad and Tobago. Samoy Hackett will start them off. Michelle Lee, IE, sixth in the 100, sixth in the 200. Bartoletta off and going for the United States from lane two, Nigeria, Germany, Kazakhstan. The United States has gone hard. Let's keep an eye on the first change as they come up to Brazil. Beautiful clean change from the USA. And they're off and racing down the back straight. Nigeria leads them out from Germany and Kazakhstan. Let's keep an eye on the second change of the United States. Oh, no. Oh, there's a disaster there. And they haven't got it around. You wouldn't believe it. The world record holders are out. And Trinidad and Tobago now come through in lane one. And they are now out chasing Germany. Germany leads from Nigeria, Trinidad and Tobago. And Brazil getting up to fourth. But it's going to be Germany, Nigeria, Trinidad, Tobago, Brazil and the USA. Nowhere to be seen. A disaster. And now they are finally going to get the baton around. They'll probably be disqualified anyway. It's going to take them about a minute to get it around. That shows what can happen in the 4x1. They had a beautiful clean change, the first, and then the second was completely off the charts. Netherlands in the first heat, Americans in the second, and two of the standout favourite for medals in the Olympic final will not be there. That was all over the place from the Americans. She was leaning for it. Wow. That was, she's taken off, I think, too early because she's got out of the box. This is Alison Felix handing over. And the runner that she's handing off to, look, she's outside the box. She threw it to her. Alison Felix was absolutely furious there. If we get another glimpse of that, in the last few strides, in desperation, she threw the baton towards the outgoing runner. Wow. Good run from the Germans. Nigeria coming through well and Trinidad taking that third spot. Brazil will not go through. They just miss out on the fastest loser spot. So it will be Canada and China who take the two. Yeah, somehow they actually went through because uh, IWF had to say that there was a jury of appeal decision. And of course, they had to run the race early hours of this morning at about 1 a.m. in the night. Of course, the Americans Seven. finished 41.77 seconds. So oh. they are in the race and that particular vaccine this change is something she was bumped yeah. into according to you know they have to make an appeal and that the book say okay you have to run it and now it's getting more interesting because at the end of the day you know you're going to be having china mm. and canada who finished like the seventh and eighth they yeah, have to true. run their own race to find out who's going to join you know the u.s nigeria and of course great britain in the final well it has been confirmed china they have knocked, knocked out, out china, china. Yeah, knocked so out. it's yeah. going to so be the canada United States, yes yeah will be competing in that one 4.41 uh, uh, point seven, seven, seven seconds in that one. And I must say for the Americans, well, I've spoken to so many sport pundits after the race. And yes, you want to say maybe it's because it's America. Because, I mean, she wasn't bumped into her as far as I'm concerned. I think Alison Felix and English But Adam have said there was an obstruction in the baton exchange from the Brazilians. Well, in London 2012, it happened to Bahrain, and uh, no one listened to them. So some would say it's because it's America, but let's leave that aside. Or maybe they because would. they complained, the Bahrains, then they did. Well, they, they, maybe we won't maybe. put it that way. But you must still give it to Blessing or Kagba and also Agnes or Sazwa. These girls were fantastic. 40, uh, uh, I'm talking about 42 uh, um, seconds different compared to what we had in London uh, in 2012 with five uh, uh, seconds different. So you want to say improvement? Okay, a good one. Yeah, Austin is still in real there. I mean, Austin, you had a surprise yesterday, right? You were talking about that you know, behind the scene. Now tell us about that surprise and what you actually make of this race that we just watched. Okay, let me start with this race before I tell you my, my surprise. Uh, just so I tell you, no, it's not just because it's the United States of America. The IWM, they watched over and over again, and the Americans put up a strong <laughs> appeal. They wrote that it was an obstruction, and after several, because they watched that video, they looked at it again, and actually said, that, yes, there was an obstruction. And then they didn't just say, oh, they will qualify. They said, you have to run it again. And they did the race again. So uh, that's, that's what I've been going all around social media now, because the United States of America, no, come on, this is the Olympics, fair play. Is a watch world here. They listen to every side, they listen to everybody. That is why, years after, if they find out that you didn't get a medal the right way, they strip you off. It's as simple as that. So, 
the Americans checked it that look, something went wrong, and then they appealed. And then the body sat down, the IWF looked at it and said, it's true. These guys are correct. And then they said they're going to run the race again, and they did. So that should just set that record straight. Tayo, Cecilia, yesterday, when I was going to the athletes' village, guess what I saw? I was on the other side of the road, and this guy was about to get into the bus. But he saw my Nigerian muffler, and he said, my Nigerian brother, it was Anthony Joshua. <laughs> Anthony Joshua stopped. He stopped from going to the bus. I crossed over. The Yorubas call it Dobale. <laughs> he Dobale for me. Anthony Joshua is nice, confirmed. He's Ulua Femi. Austin, we need evidence. <laughs> evidence. <laughs> you always see, Tyler. Where's the video? Because he was a Did you to interview leave. him, Austin? Did you interview him? To leave, we couldn't talk, but. I've got a commercial manager's contact. I'll be talking to him today and see how we can meet because he was like he was running away with it was they were already leaving with the BBC bus and he stopped. He said, "My Nigerian brother." And we laughed. We talk. you'll see pictures, pictures, soon. see pictures soon. Sire, we was, need, yeah, we need guys, <laughs> He's an awesome guy. I've never met. No. Oh my God, a sports person with such a heart. I mean, that's that's what I'm saying. Nigerians who are loved everywhere. That's not like so she's going to wear my muffler and I get so much love in this country. Anthony Joshua gave me this. Oh, somebody said gave me the first surprise. Anthony Joshua gave me come on. And wow. he was such an admirable guy. Wow. Um, I was like I was I was like come on this is so much Con love right here. Okay. C congratulations Austin. You met the heavyweight world champion of the world. <laughs> congratulations also. And of course you have to come back with this interview. That's what I'm waiting for Austin. No, you know, Cecilia, that's the point. So, you know, they need to you're do gonna, Austin, you're going to do it but today before you go watch the Nigerian ladies, right? It's a promise. Yeah, it's possible if it's not Thank so you. It's possible. with his commentary <laughs> work. But what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, yeah. he likes Nigeria. He yeah, recognizes course, that yeah. he has some root here yeah. from Nigeria. So, Anthony Joshua for me is such a great guy. I like what I put yesterday. And I thought I was going to share the story with you guys. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Austin. you. Thank you, Austin. Thank you so much. Hope to see you on Tuesday right here in Lagos.